if I could choose one career and why, um, it's difficult because every career or every aspect gives me a different feeling. Um, the dance gives me a different excitement than the DJing does. But if I have to choose one thing, I would not choose a career. I would choose the profit of the career, which is having a voice, which is spreading a message. I love to spread what I've learned in life. It's very important to me to pass that to other people so that the younger generation can learn from it. Whether it's be a better person, whether it's be more respectful to others, whether it's dealing with your coming out. So my careers as a DJ model and DJ made me have a voice. And that voice I choose, and exactly that's the reason why I choose it, because I want to give. I want to give people what I've learned from the good and from the bad. It's a good career. Yeah, that's that's it. The best moment of my career, or let's say the highlight of my career, I could say I could mention now many things. I could say that a certain performance with an artist or the fact that I don't know but really the the one person that I have to thank because who made everything possible who I am today is Kylie Minogue because it was her who booked me and who opened every door well or let's say like this she she gave me the doors and I opened them because I took advantage of her name not in a bad way I just used the fact that I was touring with her to open myself doors and she made me the model she at the end of the day made me the DJ she made me a better dancer so it was Kylie I it was booking that world tour back in 2006 showgirl changed my life and I hope that Kylie knows that. I told her, and I haven't seen her in a long, long time, and it was, till today, my best job. And she was, till today, the best artist I've worked for, and um, I will always be Kylie's tattooed boy. I will always be a tattooed dancer. So, um, yeah, Kylie Minogue, you won the Marco da Silva Award. My ambition for the future would be, I'm a very, I'm a little bit greedy, so four careers is not enough, why not have five or six, right? So um, let's see, I live in LA, LA is a part of Hollywood, Hollywood, Oscars, Oscars, movies, hey, why don't I become an actor? Um, I've been taking acting classes, so I hope that I will just do a movie, just one, it's fine, one movie in the movie theater and then I can move on to my next career. Um, but saying that, I also am finding right now a lot of passion for photography. I bought myself a... a a camera, a Canon 5D, and have a project that I want to start, which I don't, I can't talk about because it's 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 a project in my head, and it's nothing specific, but it's a very spiritual project, and hopefully that will be a good thing for end of 2012 to come out. But as for right now, let's say I want to be an actor. As you 
all got to know me now a little bit, um, I love um, I love to give and I love to spread a message. So for me, it's very important to work now with charities, with um, campaigns that spread a message. Uh, and not because I want to be seen, because that is very ugly to think of. Uh, it's because there's a cause, and because, like I said, I have a voice. And so I want to, I want to give my voice to these companies. I've, um, I've worked with Amfar. Amfar is an AIDS research um, foundation, U.S. biggest ones, um, which now became very commercial in a good way because a lot of celebrities work with it. Uh, Janet Jackson was a speaksperson, uh, Nicole Kidman was a speaksperson, uh, and it goes on and on and on, Ricky Martin, Elton John. So I've got asked if I want to DJ on their galas, if I could be the celebrity DJ. Now this is, a, this, is, this is amazing. This is for me like an achievement. Um, I remember my first gig was in New York <clears throat> at the library and it was a t probably like 10 tables with 200 guests and while they have dinner I would DJ. Of course not the club music, more like housey, chill house. But there was a stage and it was me center stage. I was dressed in D-squared because D-squared, they're really good friends of mine, they dressed me. And I was looking at the people and Jenna Jackson, Ricky Martin, Kylie, Elton John, Tom Ford. All these people were having dinner and I was playing for them. It can't get any better. It can't get any better. And for the cause, of AIDS Foundation and AIDS Research. So Amphar has been hiring me, hiring me for playing with them. I also, last year, did a, a campaign for HIV in Venezuela. Now I got, a, I got approached by a really heart-loved people there that try to have a voice themselves in the country where HIV is really high. And high not in the gay scene, guess what? In the straight scene. Because the rates are more in the heterosexual world than in the gay world. So to me, because I'm gay, of course I'll, 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 I'll help out and I, and I did a campaign. Um, this campaign goes everywhere. It goes all the media, they, it, it's, it's 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 important and we all know that South America has a very poor generation and has a very rich generation there's not really a middle people either are really well or really poor so and we got to educate the poor people because the poor people have not knowledge they, they, they don't have knowledge so that was that was amazing that was amazing I am now um, working with another thing Thanksgiving we all know Thanksgiving is for the family and there's a turkey and we love Thanksgiving. Guess what? Every Thanksgiving, I go work for a shelter. I go, the last two years I went to the Pasadena shelter and while I have my dinner at home, I help have dinner in the park. Now that is for all the homeless people, they all get together in the park and I'm one of the people who's distributing the food make sure that they get the turkey and it's it's beautiful it's it's beautiful to see and it's beautiful to give um, and I encourage everyone to do it because you will feel better you will go home but you will feel better that you helped someone that is on the street feel a little bit loved and give them a family for a couple of hours a day really do that on every Thanksgiving and um, I will always be I will always go and do research and this goes out to everyone who has a foundation who does charity, get in touch with me. It's very easy to find me in the internet, whether it be on Twitter, on Facebook. Come up and if it's interesting to me, if I believe in your project, I will help. I can't obviously help everyone, but I will help and give you a voice and, and, and work with you and maybe we can create something total new. Just um, get in touch with me, definitely. What?
pushes me and what pushed me to be where I am right now, it takes a lot of strength to, I want to say it takes a lot of strength to be me because there's a lot of people who judge me, you know, and, and, and don't believe in me and are negative because for many reasons, for their own reasons. Um, what pushes me is people who say no. That pushes me because I've been told as a kid, I'm ugly. I've been told as a kid, I'm skinny. I've been told I'm not cool. I've been told it's wrong to be gay. I've been told so many things that I will not achieve. And that pushes me harder to prove it not only to them, but to prove it to myself that no one can tell you you can't be anything because you can do everything you want. You just gotta work for it and you can't wait that someone else gives you the opportunity. Opportunities doesn't come to us. We look for opportunities, we search them. So I grew up with a lot of negativity and a lot of people tell me what I can't do, yet they are not living their dreams, I am. And on top of that, I'm living their dream. And that's why they hate me. And it's fine, because haters are confused admirers. That's all I say, and that, to me, pushes me. It pushes me harder because I love going to bad and having the, the, the feeling I achieved something. Let it be something small, but I achieved something. Let it be making other people happy, I achieved something. So, that pushes me.